So I'm going to show you how to um, use the app Bloxel. So um, I'll start out by talking about how to use the layout. Or so you can build a new game. And so if you see here, this is pretty much the blocks that right now you have these green blocks you can see um, placed right here. So let's say, and if you press the green play button on the side, you you're able to go and play to that. So let's say you don't want them to be the you don't want these blocks. So you can go grab these ha hazard blocks, which if you fall on them, like you can uh, you die. Or these water blocks, which is pretty much just water. So if like if you play the, you'll fall through, and Uh, there's a coin block, which you get a coin, and then there's this orange block is pretty much a block. It's a regular block, but you're able to break it, so you can shoot at it and it will break. And this is a um, the pink block. You're able to, if you shoot it, you get something from it such as a bomb, and... I notice when he's going in between, he's pressing the green button, which goes to the play mode, and then to get back to his grid where he can edit the blocks, he's pressing this purple button to go back. And then this the purple, purple block, I, it just, when you start your game, it falls. So we could have it... Put above a green one, maybe? So, let's say we want it, the purple block to be here. So when we spawn, it falls, and it rolls away. Okay. And then finally, the white block is a, pretty much a, just a sign. So when you go on it, it can press talk, and it'll say something. Let's say you don't want it to say hi there. You can go on it and press configure, the button configure, and you can tap on it. And let's say you want it to say... Um, Hello. <laughs> and you can even type in like curricular type things in here as well. If you're trying to get like goals for a certain game, you can tie in um, goals for a curriculum and what you want the students to learn. It could say something from there to give them a clue of what to do. Um, so that's the basic, those are the basic colors of the, of the blocks. Um, and you can use the actual blocks old board where you can manipulate and take the cubes and put them in there. Um, and if you take a picture of them, uh, then they will go, they will go into your screen, where they'll pop up on your your Bloxel. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit more how to use Bloxel. So I'm gonna hit create here. So just before you learned how to kind of make a game and everything, but today I'm going to show you how to make characters. So this is where you were last time to make a game. You can make animation, backgrounds, characters and a board, but we're going to focus on characters, so I'm going to hit start new character. So, to go in here, I'm going to, I already made a character on the Bloxel board, so you hit the picture, and then it has to get the whole thing in, and it's going to scan it. And then it's going to ask if it's correct on the right. So I'm going to say, yes, it is correct. And there's my little character that I just scanned. And this is the camera symbol that you put And this is the camera before, symbol right? that you put okay. before. So now her, what she created on her board is now in her game. And if there's any problems, you can also hit this little blue icon right next to the camera. The little swords. The little swords. And you can ed edit your character. So if I wanted a little yellow dot in the middle... I can add that, or I can fix other stuff or take stuff away. And then how do you get, so once you have your character, do you just click on this to get back into your game mode? Yes, that's how you get back into your game mode. So it's really easy to like, move from tab to tab. How much tab you could get from, like, animation to your board, back to character, or wherever you want to go. So if game. I <laughs> wanted to work on my actual, what's going on in my actual game and creating, like, mm -hmm. an obstacle, which button would I click on up here? I think it would be... The 
background or the board. It's really easy because you can also click this gray arrow on the side, pull out to see, okay, this is the background, this is a background I've made, and all that kind of stuff. And also, for your character, you can edit them to make them walk, too, so they'll have different motions whenever they're walking.